I'm Dean Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. We're going to be doing another one of our revisits today. In fact, we're visiting an old western friend right here, the Ruger Wrangler. We fired this a lot. Uh, we've fired it even in other videos with other sort of things, like comparison on quiet ammo and all of that sort of stuff. In fact, we're probably going to be using one of the quiet ammos in it today, uh, the Super Colibri, I think. Uh, anyway, that's the where I did the inlay work right there you can see that and then right over here on the front sight I used a paint I want to be able to see that sight just a little bit better so that's one of the things I did it has freed up a lot more as you can see this is spinning a lot more on it um, when you take it and still a little stiff here but you can see she's still going I've worked on it a lot. It was really, really stiff in, the, I think, our first review that we ever did. And like I said, that's quite some time back. If you don't want to see any of that old stuff, too, just subscribe to our channel. And it's right down here. There's a picture of me and Pepper there here at Cedar Oaks. And uh, you get to see more of the videos we got, both this and also Dan's Fishing Tales. Anyway, we're going to be shooting this Ruger Wrangler at some targets we've got up here we've got some knockover bottles we've also got some of the do all outdoors uh, uh, resealer or what they call them healing self-healing targets they're a knockout disc so we're going to shoot those too but we're going to um, shoot it right here with this quiet I think that's what we use the super cola break quiet and I'll load that up with six rounds and we'll see what it does and sorry about all the noise it's just one of those days where out here on the highway the winds coming just enough there's really not a lot of wind and all the noise is coming right up into here and you're probably hearing it so let's get it turned around here get this loaded and we're going to do some shooting he decided to uh, put up all knockout this because the bottles uh, they just don't go over with this colibri at all none of it especially if I shot just the regular colibri it wouldn't if I shot the super colibri it still wouldn't so we're going to shoot at that with this and by the way it's a single action so you got to pull the hammer back every time okay we got all those, and that's six rounds. We know we don't have any more. There, see, nothing else. So now we're gonna go back and uh, talk a little bit more about it. I left my headphones on because uh, we're gonna shoot again, and we're gonna shoot at the regular knockover bottles. And we're gonna use something a little bit higher powered here. And uh, that should knock them over, I'll show you what it'll do with those. And we've got a few of them there. I think we've got about five. Hopefully I can hit them with six rounds of this. And let me load it up and we'll shoot that. Because like I said, we're doing a revisit. We're actually going over this real quick and everything is done. Here's something I was going to talk to you about on the hammer. Now the hammer before was having a very stiff, you'd pick it up like, if you were cowboy shooting, you'd bang, you know, and it'd go down. And you'd have a hard time getting it. It just wouldn't, if you're doing it this way and then shoot, this way and shoot. I don't want to shoot this. Uh, I don't want to pull a hammer with it empty. But uh, before it was so stiff that I had to just kind of like this. But I've got it now so that I can fire it this way. So it's a lot better. And anyway, that's one of the things too that has improved over time. Done a lot of shooting, like I said, with this thing. Um, let's load it up with. Uh, well, let's put some, I'm not sure what I got left, uh, some Aguila. We got some Aguila Super Extra. And that'll pack plenty of punch. So let's put that in there and then we're going to knock some bottles over. Well, as you can see, we got the bottles up here now. And uh, this is single action, like I said. So you got to cock it back every time. Okay, you know that back target, as you can see, I hit it, and uh, earlier we were doing another video with this quiet ammo, couldn't hear it hit. 
I didn't hear that hit. Maybe you did. But it must be something or other about it's just a I know it's a pretty doggone thick target and with those rubber slings, but I definitely hit it. You see it swinging. So anyhow, uh took it out. I was using that uh, Aguila Super Extra, and you could tell the noise was a lot louder with that. So let's go back here. Okay, like I said, that was our revisit on the Ruger Wrangler Revolver. And you can't go wrong with one of these, but I want to show you something before we go. Uh, and that's the unloading of it. Some of these, and I'll explain, some of these are just really cheapy built into this section. I don't know why. This one, it ejects them so good. Uh, as long as you get it in the right spot, you can see, and I, like I said, I left this like this so that you could see how it does. It does a very good job of it. Uh, you just come around to each one of them. And I'll show you here now what I'm talking about on the cheapiness. Take a look at this. This one has really got it right. See the spring? That spring stays just like that. You bring it back like this. It doesn't ball up. You see some of these that are already balled up before you ever do anything. I'm going to open this up. See it all the way back. Got to get that round right. There. See, you bring it all the way back, goes right back. You don't see a lot of ball up on it, uh, not at all. It's just in a very, very good rod. Here's what another thing I'm going to show you. Bring it back here. Take a look at that rod. See it? That rod that comes out there, I got it at the right spot. There we go. See it? Bring it around here. There you go. That's a good, thick rod that just about fills. Take it this way. It just about fills that cylinder hole where you're loading it. You can see that cylinder's really going free nowadays. Uh, but uh, some of these rods I've seen, I swear they've taken a cheap nail or something. It's, it's just, just isn't. This Ruger's really built the way it should be. And that's what makes it a very nice western revolver if you're thinking about getting one. Um, it shoots pretty doggone good. Of course, revolvers are different. I mean, you're not going to adjust the sights. It's just got that old groove on top and the, the blade up in front. That's it. That's one reason I put that paint on there, too. But, uh, again, it, it's a lot of fun to have one of these, just to shoot, shoot and plink, just like we talk about all the time. So until next time, shoot safe and have a great day of plinking.